every time you hear or see the phrase ceasefire now, that always includes bring the hostages home. Wow, what an inspiring statement. There's just a small problem with it, and that is Hamas disagrees completely with what you're saying. It's not because we're not agreeing to a ceasefire deal, which would include releasing the hostages. It's that Hamas are saying, you guys have to sign a ceasefire deal, make sure to remove all options and possibilities of you ever saving the hostages, and only then will we contemplate maybe agreeing to a deal that will release some of the hostages. You get up here acting as if Hamas are a normal government that you can kind of negotiate with and say, hey, we'll do this and you'll do that. But guess what? They're not. They're a maniacal terrorist organization. That's why they kidnapped hostages in the first place. It's so frustrating to see people like you who are sitting in the West being like, ah, we totally understand this conflict when clearly you have no understanding whatsoever. Your claim that the slogan ceasefire now includes the release of the hostage is factually incorrect, which is why posters of hostages are being removed across the world. It's convenient for you to get on here six months after this whole thing has started and pretend that you really do care about the hostages. But if you do, you'd be wearing a yellow pin alongside a red one. But none of you are because you don't. And the problem with this is that Hamas are well aware of the fact that the pressure is really just on Israel to stop fighting and not on for releasing the hostages. The irony of this entire thing is that if there was a ceasefire deal on the table, which would include the immediate release of all the hostages, Israel would probably take it. But alas, there isn't. And that's why the war is going to continue until our hostages are rescued.